Hello there, welcome to another video around how to upload a CSV file into Google Collab. As you probably know, we have used uh, Jupyter Notebooks on Azure and uh, there are kids who use Google Collab because it makes the workflow easier. For more videos, go to pathway.ai and uh, you, can, you can learn on how I teach kids data science and AI. So, uh, so going back to this, uh, what we have to do is uh, go through that uh, specific workflow. So what is a workflow? Anytime you deal with data and you have to get results, there are a sequence of steps you have to do. Uh, so in this case, I will go through a workflow which is very specific to Google's uh, suite of tools. Okay, so let's go here. So step number one is to upload your CSV file into Google Drive, which is straightforward. I will not walk through this step. You just have to figure this out. It's pretty straightforward. Go to Google Drive and then you upload the CSV file using file upload. After which you have to uh, mount Google Drive. I will walk you through this for sure. Mount this onto Collab. So now you have to let Collab be authorized to read um, uh, from Google Drive. So I'll walk you through the steps. These are two distinct commands we will run on uh, the notebook itself. And within the notebooks, we will use pandas to read the CSV file. So let's go through these steps in the Collab environment inside Google. So let's go through this. So like I said, step number two in my previous diagram, if I go back to that, is I will mount this on Collab and then I will authorize uh, Collab to have access to the drive. So let's do this. There's a command. So first of all, I have to have the drive library from Google Collab. I import that module and then I will call the function called mount. And this is the exact string you have to put there, which is slash content slash drive. So when you say drive.mount, it'll mount the Google Drive onto Collab. Let's do that. As you see, it's executing here. And while it's running, it'll tell you to go to this URL in a browser, right? Basically, it is asking you to get an authorization code from this place. So I'll go to my email and then what I will do is I will allow the drive file stream access that uh, the Google Drive file stream uh, to access files, right? So I'll allow that. And then you get a code, an, uh, a code which you have to copy. Click on the copy icon here. And then you go back to your uh, notebook. Let's go to the notebook, the Jupyter notebook, right? And then you paste that here into your authentication or authorization code. So you are authorizing Collab at this point to have access to Drive. So let's press enter and it should come back with a prompt saying that this Drive or your Google Drive has been mounted. There you go, mounted at content slash drive. So this is done, pretty much done. At this point, you can be a normal uh, pandas guy, I guess, and uh, import pandas into PD, uh, as PD, and then, oh, you have to put in the path. So how will you get the path to your CSV file? Again, straightforward, what I'll do is I'll just move this a little bit so you can see the whole structure of my notebook. At the left side, you'll see a folder you should see the drive mounted there. There you go, drive. Open that up, go to my drive, go to the folder which has your CSV file. And uh, you see this thing? That's the CSV file. It's a movie, uh, movies uh, file uh, from one of the Kaggle, uh, you know, Kaggle tasks. But I have a movies file, which I click here and I, uh, that's a menu icon, which I clicked on the three dots and I copy path. I can put the path here into this, I've defined a variable for path. So let's uh, go there and paste the path. And I have the exact path to that CSV file, okay? So as you see, content drive, my drive, see I had a folder called CSV and I went straight to the path. Now I will uh, just read that using my normal pandas command, command which I've walked you through in the previous videos. And I will get a data frame which I can then describe. Let's see. Gonna work. 
There we go. We have a large file with 4,800 rows and four columns. And that's it for now. Hope you know how to get a CSV file into your Google Collab environment.